On some locations, distance can mean the difference. But distance casting requires a very specific technique. Now, when I started looking into fly casting, there were the most well-known fly caster in Scandinavia was Jørn Andersen. And then Henrik Mortensen came along. And then in Norway, I found um, two twins called uh, Knut and Trond Sjøstad. And uh, they were competition casters and fly fishermen in Auckland, Norway. And they have developed sort of a hybrid between the underhand cast technique and the more traditional style where you also use the right hand. What they do is that the hands and the arms are close together always. They follow each other. It's almost like they're locked in together. This gives you the possibility of getting very much power in your cast because you can use power from both the bottom hand and also the upper hand when you're casting. They still remain with a high stop to give the line long fall time. That is essential when you are uh, going for the distance. Now, one thing is very important here and that is power or speed. When you do your back cast in the spay cast, you have to get as much acceleration into it as possible. The reason why you need all that acceleration is to make a really active D-loop. So the more acceleration you can put in, the better. There is a critical point, however. If you put too much acceleration in, the line goes into an overhead cast, more or less. So it's a crucial point. You have to get right to the limit to get the maximum amount of speed on your backward cast. Then when you do your forward cast, you use both hands when you do the cast and let the line go. And again here, acceleration and stop is key. To generate as much power as possible, you have to use the body. You have to, when you do the backward cast, you go, you lean back on your back foot, in this case my left foot, and my right foot, when I do the forward cast, I lean into the cast. This movement becomes really important when you go for distance casting. Let me show you how that works. So when I pick up the line, I have all my weight on my front foot. And I pick up the line and I move my weight to the back foot when I do my backward cast. And then when I'm back here and I do my forward cast, I put the weight back on the front foot. So if I put it together in speed, it looks like this. I raise back on the backward foot and weight onto the front foot again. By doing this, you get as much power into the cast as possible, because you use every muscle in your body to generate power. And that is really essential. Furthermore, when you're distance fly casting, I use a rod that is specifically designed for this. It has a deep action, but still a very powerful stroke and a fast recovery. Furthermore, I use a long, a shooting head, the one I'm casting here is 13 meters long, and this is a 13 foot rod. And then I use a monofilament running line, or shooting line, simply to slow down the roll in the line when I'm doing a distance cast. 